How y'all doing? Back with another vlog. We in the hills right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, a lot of y'all ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> hey, hey, how y'all doing, by the way? You know what I'm saying? Just wanted to tap in real quick. Early morning vlog. You know what I mean? I'll be up early morning. They say the early bird get the... What they say? They say the early bird get the early worm. <laughs> or something like that. Hey, listen up. Shout out to all my fans for supporting, you know what I mean? Keeping me going. I got some storytelling to do. Like, you know, that's what I realized I haven't done enough of. Like, storytelling and stuff. I got some stories to tell. I ain't lying. Been through too much. I ain't gonna lie. I done lost so much to get to here. And I was just watching my vlog just not long ago, and I'm realizing, yeah, I did that. What's next? It's always that one question like, what's next? That's that one question always need to be answered, you know? Because while it's cool to have a bit of success, you gotta keep that going, you know what I mean? While it's cool to have a bit of success, you got to keep that going. You feel me? You're only as best as your next move. You know, that's why people used to be like, don't show your next move. You know why? Yeah, like I was saying, uh, you know, you're only as good as your next move. You feel me? They be like, don't ex... Like I have a point. Anyway, it's all good and nice. Get off my lap, Bully. I'm driving. I'm telling you, sometimes she get in the way of the pedals and everything. Like I was saying. Yeah, sometimes Bolly get in the way of the pedals. And, and this ain't no joke, man. Like, when you're driving, like, you know how people be like, don't tap and drive? Like, don't, don't get yourself distracted while you're driving. You know, it's so easy to get distracted. A lot of us think we're A1 drivers or whatever, but no. Nah, we really suck. And it takes for us to be in certain... Uh, situations where I have to realize, like, yo, we really suck. We're not as good as we thought we was. You know what I mean? And I've been in a few situations. In fact, I crashed a car before. <laughs> I was, like, I was going to show y'all the vlog, but uh, just after the crash, like, police pulled up on me and I got arrested. So that's a little fun, fun story I might talk about. Getting arrested and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Right after getting into a crash where I damn near almost lost my life. I ain't lying. And I want a lot of people exaggerate, like, oh, I almost lost my life. When really, nah, they didn't really lose their life or wasn't it damn near close to it. But not gonna lie, this situation I was in, it was tough. And I didn't even know I was gonna make it. I even had my family worried, like, sick. They was like, damn. You really went through that. Even though I live crazy, I'm one of them people where you wouldn't expect nothing to happen to me. You always expect me to always be safe, be in God's hands. So when something does happen to me, like I go to, I go get locked up or something, I go spend time in custody or whatever, just whatever bad situation I'm in, it's like a surprise. It's like, oh, we 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 never thought you was gonna end up in that situation. Like you you such a good hearted person. Your heart is so big. You show love to everybody. Your energy is always good. That's rare. That type of stuff is rare. For your energy to always be as good as mine and as consistent as mine. So shout out to me. Real talk. You know what I mean? I feel like I don't celebrate enough. We don't celebrate ourselves enough until we almost lose our life. You know, until we end up in a life or death situation. That's when we start considering like, oh, maybe we should celebrate more maybe we should look after our health more maybe we should we should learn more you know take certain classes so that way you improve your skill life is too short to overthink over, to be overreacting not even fair it's not even fair to be overthinking and overreacting you get nowhere in life acting like that you got to be able to sustain the success you feel me they fall off by not doing whatever they can to maintain this level of Grind, do you know what I mean? Cause I'm grinding. Oh, I'm grinding. I'm grinding so hard. Man, I'm grinding like I'm broke. I ain't grinding like I know I'm younger, so I be grinding like I'm broke as you know what I mean? Even though I got so much. I still hustle 
and grind like I'm struggling. And I got that from my mama, you know, like my mama, no matter, no matter how successful she is or no matter how successful the family is, she always works like we're still not successful. She always works like we still could, you know what I mean, could get more blessings and could achieve more. Because life's about achieving, you know what I mean? As soon as you stop achieving, you start receiving. Just always do what I can to just keep keep receiving. Manifestation, you know what I mean? Oh, I used to preach that. Like when I first started YouTube, I used to preach that so much. Manifestation, the way it can get you. you gotta manifest good things. Don't be so quick to complain. The moment you start feeling like it's okay to complain, that's the moment you lose yourself. And that's the moment you lose that feeling of feeling like you're doing something right. You stop feeling like you, you're doing wrong, you know? And I feel like that's why a lot of us, we don't get nowhere in life. It's because we always feel guilty for what we're doing. Oh, we should have did this. We should have did that. We never appreciate what happened. We always expect things to be perfect. Life isn't about being perfect. Hey, Bali. Life isn't about being perfect. Life's about living. Try to direct yourself towards the right way, you know? Hey, move away from the pedals, Bali. I'm turning. But you want me to crash? Get out of my way. The f f is wrong with that nigga, bro? Think this shit is a game or something, bro? Damn, like, nigga want me to crash. Like, bro, she was just right there, down there, on the pedals. Who does that? Oh, yeah, I'm about to ask this guy if he got a, a f Yo. What up, man? How you doing, man? Good. You good? You got? Huh? No, I, I don't have it to do. You got smoke? <laughs> yeah, 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 yep. Yeah. I'll get some. So you good? Yeah, man. Where you from? I'm Sudanese. Oh, okay, okay. I'm from Melbourne, Victoria. Yeah, oh really? Four years back, not now. Four years, yep, yeah. yep. So I came from Windhamville, you know, that's like an area out there near Werribee. Uh, I don't know if you heard of that, but that's where I'm from originally, you know? It's nice to meet you, man. Yeah, yep, yep. Yeah, you can hop in your car so it's not too windy. You don't want everything to fly away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I want some, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo! Appreciate that. Good. You want some more? Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Got All right, man. papers? Yeah, I got papers and stuff. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, you too, man. Have a good day, man. Nice to meet you, man. Uh, this is my first time I've been here before. I spent like months and months and months at a time. All, to, all together, maybe like. Total yeah, in my life. To live here, yeah. I do, yeah, yeah. Okay, back, okay. I came here like maybe like almost two and a half weeks ago, three weeks ago. You're looking for some job? Get my number, get my number, you can send it to me. It's nice to meet you, man. You smoke, you smoke weed? You smoke weed? Yeah. Yeah, I do a small talk. I'm about to smoke some right now. That's why I asked for it. You can feel free to join me if you want. You want some? Yeah, I got a little bit right now. I'm just gotta park down there. You know how you drive down there? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll go. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'll see you, man. Watch out, Bali. Oh, I got my kid in here. Oh, we'll talk. We'll get to know each other, man. Yeah, you see, I just met somebody. All from just driving and pulling, pulling over, pulling up on people. Um, chill, yeah, like I was saying. Hey, look. Life's one big opportunity. My relationship, that was one of the best things in my life. So when I lost that, like it felt like I lost my mind, man. You know, it felt like I lost, I even told my mom, I was like, oh, I don't even want to live no more, you know? That's because that's what love will do to you. Not only love, but you got to be careful what you do in life. Like the, the, the stuff you do, the people you hang with. 
You know what I mean? The company you keep, the places you go. You gotta be careful, you know what I'm saying? It's so easy to go like this in life. I'm gonna put the window up. Life could be like this, but it's not supposed to be like this. And anybody who really is a life liver, I don't know if that's a word, <laughs> but anybody who's really a life liver, technically it's supposed to go like this. Yeah, I see it like it's supposed to go like that. Oh yeah, I'll come, I'll come. All right, man, I'm finna pose, you know what I'm saying? I'll talk to y'all soon. My dog, the look, how you say it? The, the luck? The luck. The luck, yeah, yeah. the luck. Yeah, that's my dog, the luck, you know what I'm saying? We out here at the house, you know what I'm saying? Done me. He started speaking a language right here, my bad.